Yeah! Man! Love it! Oh! Hey guys, sorry about the wind up here. Ah, uh, we are at a brand new trail. I can't remember what it's called. Buzzard Roost? Buzzard's Roost or something. This is part of the uh, Rocky Face uh, Ridge Park that's opening up here in Rocky Face, Georgia. Uh, right next to Dalton, Georgia. And we've got about a 10 mile trail loop here. And I've been able to uh, come out here with a group from Sorba and some others, special invite. This trail is not officially opened yet. So I'm out here giving you guys kind of a preview of the trail of what's to come, what's to open. This is another Barry Smith exclusive, <laughs> another Barry Smith uh, trail system. Uh, if you guys are from the Chattanooga area, you're familiar with a lot of his trails. So far, I have climbed three and a half miles and it's been brutal, but <laughs> um, this has been, uh, the views have been awesome. You can see all the exposure out here. I am on top of the old firehouse tower that is no longer here, obviously. It's gone. Um, coming up, some of these trails have been super cool. You guys will see that shortly. Uh, just some big berms going into just like open face like this. And I can't imagine, I wonder what it's like kind of coming down, but coming into that berm, just open is gonna be super cool. I think this will be popular for a lot of people in the area. This is only about a 20 minute drive from where I'm at in East Ridge uh, near Chattanooga. And if you're actually one of my uh, new members uh, for the YouTube channel on MTB Trail Rider, many of you are familiar with Patreon with some other uh, creators. YouTube now has their own member exclusive uh, program for you Patreons who are already uh, supporting and giving back to MTB Trail Rider. I've already canceled those memberships. And uh, if you are members, if you've, uh, those who have already come back and became members uh, to this system instead through YouTube, uh, you've already seen this video because uh, it's already been launched for a few days and that's one of the many perks that you guys get for supporting me and MTB Trail Rider, my family and what we're doing here and it's a way for me to connect and give back to you guys who are supporting this channel and it allows you guys to have some extra perks. Um, so uh, thank you guys for that support and man this is super cool. I hope you guys can see this. It's really pretty clear so you guys can see all these ridges like out here all the way across it's just awesome great ride guys i'm also talking a lot because i've done a lot of climbing and i just i need my legs to rest so this is where the trail begins in this grassy field from the parking lot my strava says this is about 11 mile trail from parking lot finishing the loop and coming back and i did just over 2,000 feet of elevation gain throughout the 11 miles We are about 1.7, 1.6 miles, and it has been all climbing. Been climbing up from this trail. This is where the loop is. So we're gonna go left clockwise. That's where they have us going this week or this time around. You'll do the full loop. You'll come out this side and take this back down. So. Gotta keep going up. I guess I should get on and start pedaling. Even though I had about three miles of climbing, there were some awesome views all the way up. I'm not sure about you, but when you have views like this, it's easy to forget about the climb. All right, so this is the climb that they mentioned in the beginning, having an awesome view up here. So, kind of check it out. Probably about to see me start walking here pretty soon. I've been strategically turning off my camera for when I get off and hike. <laughs> that was all on purpose, trust me. <laughs> We are at the top, the highest point. <sighs> ah, this is rewarding. 
don't know if you'll be able to see on the video, but that trail, we were just down there about five minutes ago. And then, let's see. I don't think you can see those parked cars. It's kind of through the brush. That's where we started, way down there. So this trail is gonna take us, we're gonna take this down back, down that I just climbed. We're gonna go to the that side of the ridge. And it's gonna go pretty much all the way down to that peak down there. And I'll loop back, back to the cars. It's been a long day so far. This part might move faster. Bit loose there. So again, guys, these trails have not opened, but we got permission from the county as long as there's people here from the Sorba group and sign waivers, able to check it out. I think as, just like the other trails we've had in Chattanooga that have just gotten built, it'll feel like rough and rocky and loose. But as people start riding these and get tracks running over them, It'll start packing out smoother. Nice. This is a fun trail, guys. Man. You're almost forgetting about that three and a half mile climb in the beginning. And there's some, lots of exposure here to rock. If you're not used to that, you'll have a rude awakening here. This is fun, it's still flowing really well. I hope there's been a good video for you guys, getting a good preview of this trail before you make the commitment and also to kind of just build the hype of new trails. I love kind of sharing updates and news of what's going on in this area and the southeast of new trails. And with this so close to home, there's no way I couldn't make it out here. This is gonna challenge me for sure. Let's see if I can clean it. Okay, let's keep the pedal, keep the pedals moving. Oh, nice. If you don't mind the climbs, nice.
Woohoo! Yeah! Man! Love it! Oh! Ah. Trying to pump through that. Get up over the ridge there. Yeah. Look at this. This is great stuff out here. Look at this, guys. All right. Wow, that flowed so well. Hopefully I don't get a puncture. I have nothing to fix it out here. Oh, that was like a nice up and over. I saw that too late. Like I say, guys, there's going to be some nice lines you'll be able to take on out here. All right. You know how in the beginning I kept saying we're still climbing? Well, we're still going down. This is going to be one of the longest flow trails, I think, in Chattanooga. At least near Chattanooga. And we're going counterclockwise. I don't know if this is going to be on like a rotational schedule. Like every other day it goes different directions. Or if it's just going to be open, go any way you want. But so far, going counterclockwise on this trail is a lot of fun. All right. This is awesome. Oh, I probably could have taken that harder. Sometimes the leaves throw me off with how loose something's gonna be. We are six miles in. Got about four more miles back to the back to the parking lot. But the last 1.6, 1.7 miles is that trail we took in to where this trail loops so at least I know once I get there it's all downhill so far this section on the back side of the ridge has been good there's been a few little climbs but pretty mellow and you can pump through some of these areas to maintain a lot of that speed I think we've looped the corner on the ridge. So now most of this is just kind of working our way back. Not sure if it's all gonna be down or if I still gotta climb anymore, but we're about eight miles in to the ride from the parking lot, according to Strava. There's no signs or markings or anything out here right now. As I've already said, this isn't open yet. But I can see this being a pretty popular trail when it opens up. There's a lot of people in this area who love to climb. But this is a fun trail. I've enjoyed it. It'll give me something to 
to work on to build my endurance and build my strength climbing so I'm gonna want to make a trip out west some point soon when I'll potentially going into uh, 2021 mid to late 2021 be nice to build up some more strength and endurance for a trip out there Man, I was going into that. My front tire totally was like washing out as it was pressing into that lip. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Yep. On the way back to the parking lot right there. All right, guys, last 1.6 miles right here. So we completed the loop and now this is the single trail that goes to and from the parking lot. Wow, that's unfortunate. Yep, sliced the whole tire. It's gone, baby. <laughs> well guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good preview of this trail. I'm so glad that my tire ripped open at the end of the trail and not on my way up or on the backside of this ridge because that would have sucked. I did uh, encounter one guy who offered to give me a tube and throw in the back, but I didn't want him to waste his ride or spend that much time. I should have had those tools with me, but I'm also only about a mile back to the, uh, to the trailhead and it's downhill, so it won't be too bad to walk back. But this is also a shout out for Victoria Airliners. I used to ride on my GT. So when things like this happen, they still allow you to run flat. So when things like this happen, you can still make it back to your vehicle without having to strip everything down and rip the tire off, put a tube in and whatever else you might need to do. But if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like the video, share it with your friends, share the video with some people that you know might be wanting to come out here. And if you guys have watched it this far, I suggest, um, checking out the membership perks that I now have available on this channel. You guys can join, it's like $4.99 a month where you guys will get a, uh, access to some exclusive content. You'll get some member only videos, pictures, discussions, polls. Um, you guys will get exclusive discounts on my gear, like all my branded content. As I'm walking down my flat tire, my bike ran into a subscriber from the channel. Uh, Pedro, he's uh, he's the one who showed me around uh, Raisin Woods probably a year or so ago with the GT. I think that's maybe how we found my channel too, but just being in the area, he, uh, he's got a GT aggressor as well. He's out here riding a trek. Got his wife out here having a good time and appreciate all you guys being so friendly and offering some tubes and some assistance, but almost there almost to the end